Welcome to Veiled ASMR. Today I am going to show you my scarf collection. So let's get started. My first scarf that I'm going to show you, I bought at Jim Thompson. And I bought it in Thailand. It is this beautiful silk scarf. 100% silk. And it has elephants and flowers, leaves, and it's this beautiful gray purple color with gray elephants and beige, it's like beige with rose and headpiece. Jim Thompson was an American expat who lived in Thailand. And he supposedly brought back the silk trade. Um, I was able to go to two of his stores in Bangkok. One of it, one of the stores is actually in his old house, which is now a museum and a restaurant. It was very neat to see his house and how he lived because he lived in a very traditional Thai house. I also had the best mango smoothie there I've ever had. But this scarf is stunning. The last time I looked, they still had it on their website. This is a squared scarf, and like I said, it's a hundred percent silk, and very, very smooth. I usually wear it when I'm wearing all black or white. It really complements any outfit I have. just love the elephants and their trunks. And this is the back. You can tell it's really good quality and that there is a lot of great craftsmanship. Everything lines up perfectly. so pretty. It's definitely one of my favorite scarves. <laughs> the next scarf I want to show you is from Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen is known for having skulls, and butterflies, and flowers. <laughs> you always like to mix the unexpected. This scarf was made in Italy. And let's see. I can't remember. It's 138 by 138 centimeters. And it is 75% Madal and 25% Lana Wall. I love my Alexander McQueen. Here's a feather. Flowers, red and pink, black, these butterflies, and I love how the entire perimeter of the scarf 
is decorated with flowers, like a flower chain. Now, what I like about this scarf is that, be there. What I like about this scarf is that you can't really tell that there is a skull. Because mostly what you see are the flowers. So it's difficult to tell if I have it on that there's a scarf or that there's a skull. Unless I make that the prominent part of of what is visible when I wear it. But I loved it. I loved the colors. I loved the butterflies. I obviously loved the skulls. That is what he's known for. And I felt like this was a very romantic, very feminine, actually, scarf, despite the skull. It's pretty warm. It's best to wear in the spring or the summer when it's chilly out. I actually took it to Paris uh, two summers ago, um, but it was too. It wasn't warm enough because Paris was really cold. So I, I wouldn't suggest wearing this in the winter because it's really thin. It's more of a, a fall scarf. I love it. So this is my second scarf. My third scarf is another Alexander McQueen scarf. This one I think is what Alexander McQueen is known for most in the way of scarves. It's usually a black or gray color and then colored skulls all around. Let's see. Hey, where's the tag? Now I can't find the tag. Let's see. Oh, here it is. So this is also made in Italy. Alexander McQueen made in Italy. And this is 100% silk. And again, silk is really warm, but not for the winter. I would typically wear this in the fall. With jeans, black jeans, and like a heavy boots. <laughs> I like the way the edges are hemmed. You can tell this was done by hand. Look at that. And again, I like the fact that there's a border of skulls going all around the scarf. I like the hot pink skulls too. On this black print, it's pretty cool. It's really awesome. It's really nice, I like it. Alexander McQueen. So this is my third scarf. My fourth scarf is from Burberry. Now this is a winter scarf for Chicago. I bought it several years ago. I have this light gray pea coat. And I love wearing this scarf with that pea coat because the color combination is just beautiful. And then also in the winter, everyone in Chicago wears black. 
So I like to stand out sometimes. This is from Burberry. This is 168 by 30 centimeters. It was made in Scotland. Let's see, and I believe it's 100% wool. Let's see. Does it say? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's 100% cashmere. Scotia. And I like how, even though it has Burberry, the name Burberry here, it's not noticeable. So it just looks like a regular scarf. I mean, it is a regular scarf. But you can't tell that it's a designer scarf. And it's really warm, too. It's really, really warm. And what I like about this scarf is that um, my pea coat is um, not that it's snug, but it's not. It's meant to be form fitting, and so it because the scarf is is not very wide. It's it's a perfect fit for that pea coat because if I wear a really wide, cumbersome scarf with that pea coat, it just makes me look odd. This is my fourth scarf. My fifth scarf is this old, old, old scarf. <laughs> Believe it or not, I bought this scarf. I'm not going to say how many years ago, but a long, long time ago. Uh, in Italy. It is not designer by any means. Um, but I lived in Italy for a very short time, for about two months. And around that time, the street vendors were selling these pashminas. I think, I don't think this is at all pashmina. <laughs> I believe pashmina is some sort of blend, wool and silk, I believe. Now don't get me wrong, this is a really, really soft, soft scarf. I like it a lot. It's not designer, and I'm okay with that. And I wear this scarf a lot. <laughs> I tend to keep it because of the sentimental value this has. Now... <laughs> And Chicago gets really cold, so I have a very thick Canada Goose coat that sips up. And I'm, I've had this a long time. And uh, I'm not very gentle with it. So oftentimes what will happen when I wear this scarf and I try to zip up that Canada Goose coat... <laughs> These little tassels, I guess, get caught. And there are a few that I've torn off. Not intentionally, but because of that. But overall, it's held up pretty well. <laughs> now, I, let's see. I can tell you guys how long I've had it. I bought this scarf in 2003. It is almost 20 years old. And I feel like it's held up really well. I have washed it many times. In fact, I just washed it. It's pretty clean. And it, nothing ever seems to happen to it. So. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's really soft. Very, very, very soft. But it has lost some of its color. It's not a vibrant black. It's 
it's definitely faded. I mean, I've had it for almost 20 years, so it's understandable. But I'm really surprised by how it's held up. It is starting to show his age, though. There's a hole right here. But despite that, I tend to gravitate towards this scarf the most. I really don't think I paid more than 7 to 10 euro. So it wasn't very much. But yet I've had it for all this time. So I love this scarf, but it's really soft. My next and last scarf is this gray scarf. Very similar to the one I just showed you. Except this scarf I did not buy in Italy. It is not designer. I used to work at a hospital. And just about every hospital has a certain time of month where vendors come in and they sell stuff. And they usually sell scarves and jewelry and all kinds of stuff. My friend used to call it the craptacular. <laughs> so every time the craptacular would come to town, or in this case, to the hospital, we would go downstairs and see what they had. And I found this, and it reminded me of the scarf I bought in Italy. And I didn't have a gray at the time. So, I decided to buy it, and I did. I've had this for maybe since 2011. So not as long as I've had the other one, but long enough. And it's held up really well. No holes, even though I'm sure I've gotten it cut, you know, caught in my coat. But it's held up pretty well. It's really warm, you know. I don't particularly care if anything happens to it, which is probably why it survived so long. Guess there is a little bit of a damage here. But yeah, really soft. Just goes to prove you don't have to buy designer. <laughs> well, that's it. Those are the scarves I have. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.